slippers are on. And I'm ready for the day. Welcome to a mega organization day, primarily in the kitchen. A bit of everything probably. I've just had a food shop delivered, so that needs to be put away. But I thought I would do like a little food haul of what I got. I do have an issue though. I hate doing online shopping orders because of the substitutions, because a couple of the substitutions have put a bit of a spanner in the works for dinner. So that needs to be fixed. I much prefer going to a supermarket and being able to pick my own stuff because then this doesn't happen. Obviously it's like very convenient until it isn't. And I've learnt my lesson, I think. But let me show you what I got. Actually, quite a big shop. So, we'll start over here. We've got chicken and mince. The mince is for a cottage pie. The chicken is for um, a pad thai and some other bits. We've got bread. We've got squash. We've got Pepsi. Uh, this is red wine vinegar. Fish sauce and oyster sauce. They're both for the uh, pad thai as well. I've never made one before and I'm quite excited to try it. Pad Thai is one of my favourite foods and I have never made one at home so I'm quite excited to do that. Uh, I've got some Pringles but they sent me the wrong flavour. These ones I can give or take. It's the multi-grain ones that are a sour cream and chilli are unbelievable and I love them so much so quite disappointed with that but Ollie will eat them. Um, that is another substitution. It's a rose harissa paste but I wanted a tamarind paste so very not the same. We've got uh, a miso paste. I can't remember what I needed that for. Maybe for the pad thai, maybe for something else and we will figure that out later. Um, we have got giant couscous, we've got rice, we've got uh, rice noodles for the pad thai. We've got some chocolate raisins. We've got a couple more snacky bits. We've got a couple of brunch bars. We have got, these are like fake Mars bars, I think. And then I've got a bit of an obsession with dairy milk caramel at the minute. So this is just like a multi-pack of little bars of those. We have got eggs. We've got various different cheeses. We've got ricotta, feta, cheddar, and then that is halloumi. Got some more of this. This is the flora buttery that we're using at the minute. And I quite like it. So I thought we'd stick with it. I've got some Marmite Graze Crunch because people keep telling me that it's absolutely amazing. And I love Marmite, so I want to try it and I reckon I'm probably going to polish off the whole bag in one go. We've got some tortilla chips. Just because I love them, I just love them. They're so crunchy. I'm really weird about textures with my food and I have to have like a crunchy element to my meals. So I kind of stay relatively stocked up on these because they go with quite a lot and it just adds a bit of crunch if I need it. I've got loads of peanuts, uh, some for the pad thai, some just to snack on because again, like I'm just obsessed with peanuts. So they're good to have around. We've got some porridge oats, we've got milk, we've got apple juice, we've got orange juice, and then we've got lots of fresh food as well. So we've got a pomegranate and a lime. I love pomegranate, but it's so expensive to buy it in the tubs already. So I bought one, like a, a whole pomegranate to like de-seed it myself. I don't know if that's the correct term, but I'm gonna give it a go and just see if that's better because it's a much cheaper way of doing it. I've got some avocados, I've got peppers. I've got garden peas and I'm disappointed about that because I don't, I have a bit of a vendetta against garden peas. I just don't like them. I much prefer petit pois. So a bit annoyed about that substitution in particular. I've got edamame beans. They are, again, for particular recipe that I'm doing this week but I can't remember what I have got it all written down in notes up I sorted it out like several days ago and I've forgotten what half of it is for now we've got carrots we've got cucumbers this is another substitution this was meant to just be a pack of bean sprouts for the pad thai um, and I will probably use that like stir fries are really quick and easy to do but again like when I have particular meals in mind having to then figure out the substitutions like that's that's not going in a pad thai and then we move on to my many different types of like onion. I've got white onion, I've got red onion, I've got spring onion and I've got shallots. We've got a little bag of salad leaves and then lastly I've got a pack of strawberries. They're not in season at the minute but actually this pack looks pretty good and this I'm making a Waitrose little recipe with. Um, it's going to be like halloumi with I think they say it's like a zingy strawberry salsa and it just sounded delish. I'm sure I saw it on someone else's vlog recently. Maybe I think it might have been Sasha Polari actually but yeah I thought it sounded really good so I'm going to get those. And that is the food shop. I just now need to put it all away. So there may have been a bit of an odd smell coming from the fridge. And there may have been a couple of bits that were moldy, uh, which a bit gross, 
but it's I've, I've done a big clean out of it it's much better than it was no smells coming from it anymore it's had like a bit of a scrub and it is now looking so much better it's not the most well stocked fridge that i've ever seen in my life we've got lots of salad in there meat bits down there these are some of the breakfast drinks that i have strawberries and the avos we've got a whole shelf that's dedicated to cheese and pepsi max which is a bit of a sleigh and then like miscellaneous up here and the door needs a bit of sorting out but it will do for now amy has just joined us for the day she is here for three reasons firstly because she needs to get some work done without any distractions so she's going to sit upstairs and have some peace and quiet away from her own flat and her own dishwasher, dishwasher and stuff like that uh second reason it's to use my washing machine because hers is broken so we've just put a wash on having a real time with appliances yeah and the third reason is uh because i promised to make her some food yeah I think that's quite probably the biggest draw of it all, isn't it? I love that Jess is good at cooking because mm. it means that I can support your content. Yeah. And also get some just food out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she also turned up with my Nespresso pods. I tried so, Nespresso coffee this morning. Did you? Not, have your Not pods, one of them. Yeah, all right. My flatmate has a coffee machine, but she's into like fancy coffee. I don't really know a lot about it, but she got these. Vanilla custard pie. Mm, that's ones. Not really good. They were really good. I did put tiny, tiny, like half a teaspoon of vanilla syrup in it as that's well. Not too bad. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But it was really nice. I felt like a proper grown up using a Nespresso coffee. Yeah, it's very fancy, isn't it? I can't remember what we got. The woman not in the, the right height. Really made me laugh. Yeah, she was very um, like intense, wasn't she? Well, that's what she was saying. She was like, "Do you want something quite light or tight when intense?" But the way she was saying it, I was like. It's almost like a bit sexy. It felt like she was doing like a palm reading or something. The ones I picked this time round, Corto, which apparently uh, is quite good if you like quite a strong coffee. And the other one is Coco Truffle. That one sounds nice. Yeah, I haven't actually tried either of these before. I make my way through the, the various different ones that they do, uh, but these are both new to me. Um, so it means probably coffee time very soon. I've got so much to do and I keep like putting off starting it because it feels like such a big task but I know once I get into it it's gonna be fine. It's all right we're gonna be okay. I've got the biggest yeah. Amazon order that I now need to unpackage Ooh, because nice. I'm basically going to be reorganizing everything in the kitchen so I'm going to get all of that out and see what we've got to work with. We have got four different Amazon boxes filled with various... hold on I've got a little cloud cutter thing to open them up with, but they are filled with various like storage containers, organizational products um, to really just get everything in a better state than it currently is. Our kitchen, even though the room itself is quite big, the storage is just lacking a bit like it's quite an odd shape some of the cupboards just don't really fit much in so i always find myself being feeling a bit stressed out by it so i thought let's just try and make everything feel a little bit easier because i just i just don't want to feel stressed anymore i'm taking taking the reins eliminating stress from my life in the form of storage containers that is what we're doing <gasps> okay this is an exciting one this is a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, or 24 um, spice jars. They're just like little glass ones with wooden lids. And they have got somewhere in the box, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they've got these little inserts so that you still kind of have the shaker capacity of them. But they are very cute looking and i just love whenever i see people on like instagram tiktok whatever with all their matching spice jars it just fills me with so much joy and i can't wait to be one of those people it comes with lots of different variations of stickers that you can label them with and what i think i'll probably do because i'm scared of like making them look a bit ugly i will probably label them maybe on the bottom i don't know i need to figure that out because i've seen some people do it where they're labeled on the bottom and i do think it just looks a little bit neater and then you don't have to worry about getting it wrong and it looking ugly um it also comes with a little funnel funnel yeah like a collapsible funnel 
to decamp with as well. I am so excited to get that done, but I'm gonna unbox everything first so I know what I'm doing and what I've got. Next up is quite a heavy box. This has got some mascara spoolies for my eyebrows, uh, obviously not for the kitchen. It's also got um, this, which is a little tool to clean my AirPods with because they are looking a little bit um, worse for wear. And then these are little eyebrow comb things as well. And then the main thing in here is, I think these are my storage containers for food. I lied. These are actually Tupperware boxes. This is a pack of eight. And they are glass with plastic lids. But I um, hate when Tupperware goes funny colours when it gets stained by food. Even if I know that they're clean, it still makes me feel a little bit weird about it. So I've bought eight new glass ones just because they clean up so much easier. And I am actually gonna spend my afternoon doing some batch cooking. So we've got some meals ready in the fridge. Ollie spends three or four days a week maybe in the office and I mostly work from home but do spend a lot of time out and about. Um, so I just thought if we've got loads of nice food already prepared, it's gonna make life so much easier. I am really terrible at the minute for being a bit lazy with cooking and getting too many takeaways and just not eating very well. And you know when it starts to make you feel just like weirdly sluggish and you just don't feel like you're having a very good time? I am at that point, so I'm just getting myself organized. I'm gonna do some batch cooking with all the stuff that you've seen in my little food shop haul that I got earlier. Again, just to make life easier. I'm now like drowning in cardboard. My recycling men are gonna hate me. I always have so much cardboard to take out. Okay, now this, these are definitely the food storage container things. So this is a mixed pack of 10, I think, and they are all different sizes, but they're all round. They're airtight food containers and they are stackable. And these are gonna hold pasta, rice, porridge oats, any bits like that. I'm just gonna go in these, just because I love everything looking really like aesthetic and organized. They're actually way bigger than I thought they were gonna be, which is good. Uh, it does mean that in my stupidly small cupboards, that might be an issue, um, but it's an issue we're gonna overcome and it's gonna be absolutely fine. Paul is at the back door staring at me, so I think he wants to be let in. And then uh, we're gonna get this show on the road. This is the Coco Truffle one. Isn't it? Very aesthetic. Mm, that's yeah. nice. I haven't put any. It? No, none. Oh. I haven't tried I it yet. That. Would you? Yeah. I'm impressed by that. Usually you're a syrup girly. I am, yeah. Out of 10, what are you going to give it? I think an 8. Good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm going to go and try my own one now. Amy gave her coffee, an 8 out of 10, so let's see what it's like. This is the cocoa truffle from the espresso that I bought. And that is, that's a good coffee actually. It's not too bitter. The washing machine is so loud so I really hope you can hear what I'm saying. But like it's not too bitter. That kind of like chocolatey note that is there. That's how the woman in the shop was explaining it. She was like obviously it doesn't taste of chocolate it's more of like a little note but you you can tell it's there you're so fancy and grown up being able to be like oh my god yeah this this nice coffee that i bought rather than just like chugging something really syrupy just to give me a little bit of energy but that is lovely i really like that i'm really hoping that gives me a little bit of energy to get through the rest of the day the thing that we are tackling first is the spice cupboard. I actually did quite a big reorganise maybe in like November, um, but 
it still has a long way to go. So we've got lots of spice jars up here. And then at the back here, there's a lot of bags of spices. And this is the main reason that I wanted to get like the cute jars is so that we don't need to have bags anymore because they're a bit annoying. But I'm gonna pull them all out, see what we've got and figure out a system for them. I just tested out the first little spice jar. I put the label underneath, like I said, and the label is a little bit too big to go on the bottom, which is a bit annoying. Um, so I don't know, I might buy some like pre-printed labels instead to put them on. These will do for now, just so we can tell what they are, but like nice printed labels because my handwriting is fine, but not the kind of aesthetic that I'm going for. So I think little printed labels, similar to what I've got actually on my syrups and like my coffee stuff, these look nice. Um, so maybe if I get something that is similar to those, then that will work better. And also I think the funnel actually makes it more difficult. Uh, all of the herbs were just getting stuck in the funnel. I couldn't really get them in. So then I ended up just pouring from the funnel which seems like a bit of a flawed system. Uh, so I don't know if I maybe need a plastic funnel because that was more like silicone-y and everything was just sticking. So I need to figure out the best way of doing it. But I think it looks really cute. Obviously like, that's a very empty one to be showing. But I think by the time they're all done together, they're gonna look very, very cute. Amy's come to join me. I'm just still decanting. The whole like glass jar into glass jar thing feels a bit stupid but particularly for the bags, it's worthwhile and it means going forward, we can just buy it in bags and not the jars. Anyway, she's just had a little survey of the ones that I've already done. Bin the cinnamon, bin the coriander, then we'll talk. I would also bin the coriander. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie uses it, that one, I not think, asked about. Right, I actually have like a vendetta against coriander. You know so, how it's genetic? Yeah. So, yeah. that you either like it or you think it tastes like soap mm -hmm. or like you can't taste it or you think it tastes like soap. So, what I don't understand is if 50% of the population think it tastes like soap, why it. do they put it in so many it's things? It's in everything. Why though? Like, it's in, like surely if you're a chef at a restaurant, yeah. you'd go, oh, 50% of people are going to absolutely hate this, yeah. probably won't serve it then. I don't get it. No, I am actually with you on that one. <laughs> Some acrobatics. Come on. Can you do a pirouette? Yeah. She's been practicing. It's not quite it. But <laughs> close enough. One day, I'll be a newsie. You will be. You'll, you'll be. Yeah. I'm going to grab the I'm going to grab the actual station. Down to City Hall. That is literally in my head 24 7. I've put all of the spice jars back in the cupboard now and obviously the fact that they are labelled on the bottom and it goes quite a long way back might pose an issue. I kind of wish I had enough um, like counter space. Everything's a mess at the minute where I'm like organising. But I wish I had like, obviously there is a gap here, but the rest of the counter space is all kind of so full that um, I feel like if I took up that spot with a little spice rack, everything would just feel really cluttered. But once I'm finished like tidying and organizing and I have less out, I might feel differently about it. So we, I guess I'll just see and I'll assess. But yeah, the kitchen just feels not very well like laid out for storage. It looks like we have loads of storage, but we actually just kind of don't. I've just had a little sort out of this cupboard here, which is our like baking cupboard. And I've actually gained the majority of a shelf because it was so badly organized and I've made it so much better. So I've used the new airtight containers that I got from Amazon and they are so good. They stack really easily. And then I've just used some of the spare um, stickers from the spice jars to label them underneath just so we know what they are. So obviously flour and sugar and like, I've got two types of flour in there as well, like plain and self-raising, they look similar. So they're all labelled. This is a little jar of flax seeds. And then these are a couple more different types of sugars that just don't warrant probably being a big pot like that. These are the ones that we'll use most often, so they make sense being in those. Up here, we've got 
syrups and like honey and uh, flavourings there. We've got walnuts, uh, almond flakes, I believe, and sesame seeds. And then behind there is like bicarb and yeast and bits like that again for baking. We've got golden syrup up there. Technically, I think they could probably fit on this shelf, but they're too tall. So they live up there for now. And then I've got a whole space to put some other stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. All the while, I am just creating so much more mess everywhere else and it's stressing me out we've got a couple more sorted we've got ollie's oats up here um we have got pasta in here and there is some rice behind it as well everything is still a mess and a lot of these bigger containers um are like just a bit by the time that's got the lid on that's going to be a bit too big for the cupboard uh, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay because I'm going to have a shuffle, persevere, and it's all going to be all right. But the ones that are there, I'm loving, so I'm happy with those. I am really starting to flag, and it's because I've been so busy organising everything that we've got to quarter past four, and I've realised I've barely eaten anything today. So I think it's time to stop with the organisation and get on with some of the cooking. I want to try and batch cook two different meals if I can. The one I'm gonna start with is a miso chicken with an edamame salad. It is a gusto recipe um, and I can't seem to find it online, which is weird because I'm sure I've found it online before, but I have found the recipe for a miso haddock. So all I'm gonna do is copy that recipe and do chicken instead of haddock. We overcome all obstacles in our way, so it's okay, we're gonna do that. And then afterwards, it's the giant couscous. Um, but I think that one is going to be a lot easier. Couscous takes no time at all to cook and everything else is pretty much, it's like just a lot of chopping. So that'll be so easy to put together, but hopefully it'll make a really good lunch to have in the fridge. My top tip for rice, if you can never get it right, is do double the amount of water than you've got rice. So I've done two cups rice four cups water and then you do it from cold, you bring it to a boil, stick a lid on it and bring it down to like a simmer as soon as it starts boiling. Do that for 10 to 12 minutes, I usually do about 12, and then once that's done, take it off the heat, but keep the lid on for another like 10 minutes, and then you have just the perfect rice every single time. It never fails me. really don't like following recipes so I definitely ad-libbed a little bit I did a little remix I did a freestyle on it but I think it looks so good I've got three lots of dinner portions so me Amy and Ollie and then I've got one like lunch portion out of it as well and this is from the two cups of rice that I did two chicken breasts and then the edamame salad but I think that just looks absolutely stunning done in and I'm very excited to eat this and then hopefully crack on with the rest of my day because I still have so much to do. We're gonna do a taste test. Are you excited? That's yeah. the fork I've already used, that's a clean one for you. Thank you very much. I've also just oh. added a little bit of sesame Ooh, seeds onto it. Fancy. To, uh, I just have really like sesame seeds. It's a fancy girl. I am. What's what it got in it? Is what is it? this? So, miso chicken mm -hmm. and then edamame salad which mm -hmm. is edamame beans, cucumber and shallots. And it is in and a sauce shallots. that is like soy sauce, bit of ginger, bit of sesame oil. There's some sugar in there. 
uh, a little bit of chili but not much it's not very spicy sounds good but i kind of like did a little remix on the recipe just because i'm not very good at following them so and i prefer really to just kind of do it mm. that's very good that's stunning oh my god success big success yeah yeah i'm really pleased with that i've still got to cook a whole other meal though what are you cooking the dry couscous. Okay. Just to put it in boxes, stick it in the fridge. Good chat. Just don't have to think about it. And then Ollie's gonna do. I think he's doing a lasagna tomorrow. Oh my god, so you're like fully meal prepping your week. Pretty much. We're out Wednesday, aren't we? Yeah, but like most of the week is just gonna be sorted. Yeah. Have you ever had one of Ollie's lasagnas? I don't think I They're have. So good. I've had a spag bowl, that mm. was very good. Mm. Similar, yeah. Mm. His lasagna is very good. I always do the more like Asian-y dishes mm -hmm. when we cook, and he always does them all, I guess Italian ones. He's very good with a spag bowl, he does a very good lasagna. Anything like that, it's his domain. This is so nice. Mm -hmm. I did a very good job. Mm -hmm. I think he does give porridge. No. Ollie gives hash browns. Yeah, okay, fair enough, I do see that. Ollie doesn't give porridge. Porridge is like, someone sensible yeah and ollie's not very sensible no like ollie's more fun yeah porridge is like someone with a very strict routine well i suppose ollie does have, he does a, have routine. a routine yeah that's okay. what i'm saying just porridge what do i give chaos okay. hunger <laughs> chocolate milk oh my god <laughs> yesterday um i came out to the shop and i saw a man sitting on the wall outside the shop, downing a litre of milk. And there was another one Just by normal. his feet. Normal milk. There was another one by his feet. I hate that so much. And I was like, and was I'm he a like bit scared. Chugging. Chugging. <laughs> it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Out in the street? Mm hmm Sitting on a wall, unashamedly chugging milk. I feel like if you're gonna chug milk, you kinda need to do that in the comfort of your own home. Like, if you've got, yeah. Do you know some people order milk from McDonald's? Children? No. Adults? Well. No. Only loves a glass of milk. Does he? Mm. Mm. He doesn't give milk, does he? Not especially. He gives like flavoured milk. Yeah. And Pepsi Max. Sometimes I forget that Ollie's an adult man. I forget that we're all adults. Oh, right, okay. I thought you meant specifically Ollie. No. Like... Like, it's just funny thinking about the fact that, like, Ollie sometimes meets people at work and they think of him as, like, an adult man. Like a professional adult man. Like, <laughs> yeah. with a, with a good job. Yeah. And we're like, like, oh, he kind of gives, like, flavour <laughs> mill. Yeah. It's a bit like, if there's, like, a kid on the street and their mum goes, let the lady go past. And I go, oh, oh lady. the lady, I'm a little girl. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm old enough to be a lady. Yeah, I'm not a lady, I'm a little girl. Yeah, that's fair. I just realised I've got you into a really bad habit. I stand up while I eat and all of my friends hate it. What I really don't like is food trucks. <laughs> you know when they give it to you and you have to just sort of stand up and pick at it with a little wooden fork? Yeah, and you've got like a little bit of napkin and it it's going so everywhere. It makes me like mm -hmm. I can't actually handle it. It looks like I do a plate and cut the room. Exactly. But when everyone discovers, first discovers that I eat standing up, they're all like, why? It's but a bit unnecessary. Ollie and I both do. It's just a habit that we've got into as a couple. It's just that we'll just be stood like this, eating dinner stood up. I think it's because he used to work in a bar for a really long time. So he would like stand up and eat um, on the go. And I have just picked it up from him, I think. Because I don't think I used to do it. I eat almost exclusively in front of the TV, which I feel like is not very girl boss of me. No, not at all. I rarely eat in front of the TV. But I just love watching a little show and eating my dinner. Do you know it's because I have to go upstairs. Mm. I just can't be bothered. So I just eat down here and then I go and finish watching my little show. Right, I had a little pause for dinner. And to be honest, you know when you sit down and then you're like, oh, I don't know if I can get back up again. It was a struggle. Amy has essentially forced me to get back up again because she said I'll never forgive myself if I don't get all my stuff done for today. And you know what? She is right. So we're just gonna, we're gonna listen to Amy on this occasion. The only thing that I physically have energy for today, 
other than sitting on the sofa and doing a bit of reading later is just making sure that I have this other meal batch cooked. So it's going to be the giant couscous. I've just stuck the water on to boil so I can start making that. And everything else is pretty much just chopping like salad things. This is a recipe from Zena's Kitchen. I follow her on Instagram and I absolutely love her stuff. So I am using that as a base, but hers is technically a vegan recipe. I am bastardizing it and I am putting in non-vegan feta so like just normal feta and i'm tempted to also just cook up the other chicken breasts that i've got just to add a little bit extra in them and then after that i think i'll be finally calling it a day it's been manic i have created more mess than i've put away which is gonna be a tomorrow problem i think so i just need a tiny little bit more energy. Splashes of pomegranate juice all over my t-shirt so that's really annoying i see why people buy it in pots now and i usually buy it in pots but it was so significantly cheaper to buy it as a whole fruit so i was like oh i'll give it a go and now i've potentially ruined a top i'm really hoping i can rescue it but everything's looking good so far all of the bits are chopped if you don't have one of those vegetable choppers that i just used you need one they're so quick and easy and it just makes chopping stuff a breeze um the couscous is cooked although technically i read apparently giant couscous isn't actually couscous it's pasta so that's an interesting little factoid there for you and i did actually decide against doing the chicken maybe out of a little bit of laziness who knows but i think it'll be okay without it i've just realized actually i haven't added in the chickpeas they need to go in and that's enough protein that should be quite filling so i think the chicken it's fine, we'll leave it out, and then that is what I'm going to use for the pad thai later in the week anyway. So I think it's all just going to figure itself out. Giant couscous salad is complete. I need to do a like quick final taste test. I've nibbled on a couple of little bits just for like getting the seasoning right. But I think it's pretty much done, and I'm going to have a final little taste test just to make sure before packing it in Tupperware. But so far, this is incredible. That is so good. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. It could maybe do with a tiny bit more salt. I don't want to overpower it and do too much. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. And then if the individual portions need just a little bit of extra salt, then so be it. I'm going to package this all up into, I don't know how many portions this is going to do. The recipe says this is enough for eight, but I don't think that's, I don't think it's going to stretch that far, but we will see. It's all portioned out. I managed to do four portions. Maybe it's intended to be a side salad, which eight then sounds a bit more reasonable. But as like a lunch, it's done like four good sized portions. And it's so colourful. It looks gorgeous. It tastes amazing. So I'm really happy with this. And then obviously we've got the um, chicken one from earlier. Paul is over there trying to get out. But yeah, I am. I'm chuffed with that actually. I would say that that is a pretty successful day. We've got one, two, three, four, five meals ready for the week. I'm feeling quite accomplished. The kitchen is still, quite frankly, a shit tip. It's chaos. I definitely made it worse, 
it's not a one day job, it's a several day job, but what can you do? It needs to be done. I'm glad I've started the process. It's one of those things that I've probably put off for way too long. So it's good to be getting going with it, but I wish I just had a little bit more time to focus on it and just get it absolutely like blitzed. The whole house needs a blitz to be honest. I can never get it to a good point where it feels like everything is semi-organised. But I'm determined, it's going to be alright, we're going to do it. And this is an excellent start. I'm going to put these all in the fridge. And I don't have to think about food for pretty much the whole week. Ollie's making a lasagna probably tomorrow. And that will definitely have some leftovers from it too. So it's, it's easy, we're all good. I'll do the pad thai later in the week. And then all the halloumi and strawberry salsa as well. I'll do that on a day where I'm like spending the day at home and make it fresh because I think that is the way it will be best. And I'm excited for it. I love cooking when I've got the brain space to do it. When I don't have the brain space to do it, I live off of like plain pasta and takeaways, which is not very, not very good. But we got a lot of freshness, good food here. So I think I'm going to finish the log vlog here, round it all up and say goodbye. I am quite frankly done in. I need an evening on the sofa, a couple of hours with my book, ready to start a new week tomorrow. It's a busy one, it looks like. So I'm glad that I have had a bit of a successful day today. I feel like it's going to set me up really well for it. So yeah. If you enjoyed watching, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!